I know there would be historical implications for having a, a black female president, the first female president, for, well, she wouldn't be the first black president, but the first female president. There would be historical implications. But my strongest emotions for the election are just being anti-Donald J. Trump. That's, that's the biggest thing for me, just not him. Project 105 is my big concern. You know, that's, there's no way we can tolerate that anymore. All that shenanigan nonsense they're trying to implement, going backwards, stop and stop. You know, we hope that doesn't happen. So we hope people hope towards that not happening, you know. The endorsement that I saw with Kamala, I'm not a fan of that as well. Um, I feel like a lot of us forgot that she was even in the office because she hasn't been too vocal, she hasn't been too visible. I'm feeling a little bit confused because it's the first time that something like this that in you know my time that I've ever seen happen um, and also just a little bit scared because um, just given the climate of where we are in the country and um, people's attitudes towards anything that's you know different from what they're used to um, it just makes me feel like the, the race is kind of um, I mean, it's, it's kind of giving things to the Republican Party. Yeah, I guess I'm just a little bit scared <laughs> as to what things are going to be in the future, how things are going to unfold, and just kind of feeling a little bit um, discouraged. I think that's probably the best word to use.